shockingly high. The reason could be data taken directly from your car. Including, according to a New York's Time report, how fast you drive. Fox Life's Sharon Crowley has more on what you need to know. All data is being sold right now, which I think is really a big problem. Companies should be a little bit more transparent about how they're handling people's data and stuff because at the end of the day, we don't really know what they're doing with it. What many companies are doing with all that personal information mined from our cell phones and computers is selling it. And it's all perfectly legal, since most of us, knowingly or not, consented with a click that could allow our personal data to end up in the hands of a third party. Now it looks like information about how we drive could be shared as well. The New York Times report found automakers are sharing consumers' driving behavior with insurance companies. Information like whether or not you speed that could be used to justify charging higher rates. Lance Ulanoff is editor-in-chief at Tech Radar. What people have to understand about today's cars is that they're kind of like rolling computers. They're gathering a lot of data. They have a lot of intelligence inside of them. They're often connected to the cell network or, you know, when you're at home, they might be connected to Wi-Fi. Um, they're collecting data. And then the question is, did you sign off and say that the data you collect could be uploaded and sold to a third party? This New York City driver doesn't know if she's being tracked, but she does know her car insurance bill has gone up. The past two years, it went up almost $100. So I guess $50 every year, it went up. And are you a good driver? Yes, I am. No yeah. accidents. This is more than just an invasion of a person's privacy. This is capitalizing on their information in such a way that not only is it an invasion, but it penalizes them as well. Robert Cicliano is a cybersecurity expert. So more than ever, consumers need to be paying attention to the fine print because the fine print today more than ever is where they get you. Consumer advocates say there are things you can do to protect your privacy. For starters, if you're going to buy a new car, you can ask the car dealer how they plan to use your personal data. And if you don't want it shared with a third party, you can opt out. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. Those with ties to the area here in New York are expressing